hello value family you are welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how to make granola for business how to make profit from granola business and even if you want to make for your personal consumption this video is for you you are going to learn how to make granola with or without oven everything you just need to know about granola business just keep watching first of all we are going to prep all the whole ingredients we are using for this granola just to add what i'm making here is a nutty granola that is granola with only nuts we have the fruity granola that is the one you add your dried fruits and we have the mixed granola that's the one you have a mixture of fruits and nuts but this is usually more economical especially if you are doing this for business so first of all we are grating our coconuts and I'm just using this um, grater to grate the coconut. So after grating the coconut, this is what we have. I will further cut this coconut into tiny sizes. I just want everything to align with the size of the granola. So I'm just going to cut this to just have at least equal size, not really equal, just to reduce the size of the coconut because we don't want it too long and very much obvious in your granola. So I'm just going to reduce the sizes of the coconut. Just know that this particular stage is optional. You can decide to leave your coconut this long, but personally, I don't like it that way. So I further reduce the size of the coconut and this is what it should look like when we are done. You can see the difference, right? So this is what it looks like when we are done at least it's not too long now over to the granola proper into the mixing bowl i'm going to be adding in half cup of vegetable oil please don't use an oil that have a very strong scent that will affect the taste of the coconut don't use an olive oil for this any good oil will serve so adding your half cup of oil and you are going to be adding in one full cup of honey one good trick I've learned is that adding your honey to the cup in which you poured your oil will make the honey to easily slide out from the cups. Can you see how easy this comes out from the cup? But if there is no oil in this cup, it's going to be a bit difficult for it to come out. So grab this tip. <laughs> so next now we'll be adding in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. This is going to add to the taste of your granola and you needing one teaspoon of vanilla extract the details of everything we use here will be in the description box below so do wait to check it out so proceed now to mix this thoroughly and just combining everything that we've added into this the recommended oats for making granola like this is called a rude oat it's very different from the regular cooking instant oats that we have those ones you use for our breakfast and smoothies this is quite tough and another name for it is an old-fashioned oat if you're in nigeria those people that sell baking items they sell this type of oat too just tell them that you need that oat for making granola and some people call it seed oat so i've just poured this in and for this i'm using half paint of this road oat and after saving we got 11 cups that's a standard measurement cup at this stage you won't be needing any mixing spoon just keep that aside pour in the ready cut coconut that we did earlier just add it in now remember that i said we are making a nutty granola so i'll be adding in some of the nuts that we are using for this granola so over time i've just realized that adding granola to your granola is a total no especially if you are making this for business but if it's for personal consumption feel free to add all the nuts that you like or the ones you can tolerate i realize that most people they are allergic to peanuts that's granite so most times they even ask you hope your granola don't have granite in it and imagine you add granite what are you going to do so i would just advise you to just do away with granite you can add other nuts but just feel free to add that if it's for personal consumption so I'm just using my knife to crush down my almond nut before I can add it in. Just to add, I've already cleaned the surfaces thoroughly 
before proceeding with this cutting and crushing so once you are done i'm just going to pour everything into the mixture at this stage now wear your hand glove and just use your hands to mix this thoroughly see spoon won't give you that perfect mixing at this stage especially if you are doing more than three or four cups if you are doing more than three or four cups just use your hands wear your gloves and mix everything together <music> I'll be adding some other nuts once this is ready because I don't want that one to totally get burned because it has already been roasted. Adding it at this stage is going to make it turn very brown and it's not going to taste nice at all. So after mixing, this is what it should look like. So everything is well mixed, like from the under the honey, every part of all the whole ingredients has been well mixed at the stage even if you don't have oven you are going to process your own granola using your frying pan but first of all i'm going to pour the first batch into the oven so i've already lined my baking tray with some for you can use your parchment paper but i didn't have parchment paper at home when i was making this video so i'm just going to pour the granola into the baking tray spread it out evenly so that it can bake well even when it's baking just know you're going to still do stirring even though it's you are baking in the oven so i'm just going to reserve this one and i'll show you how to also make your granola without an oven i'll be baking this in a preheated oven of 180 degrees celsius and i'm just going to be stirring at interval not as the one we are going to use our frying pan to do so after about 10 minutes i'm just going to stir the granola and this is it let's put this into the oven if you don't have an oven and you want to make your granola please you will need a non-stick pan emphasis on non-stick pan so we are going to pour the granola mixture into the non-stick pan immediately i'm just going to start stirring and this is on low heat please don't just increase your fire because you just want to rush and just make this and no your fire have to be very low low to medium actually so i'm just spreading this out and i'm going to be stirring this occasionally until the color starts changing one thing about this method is just that it's a bit just than just using an oven because it's going to keep you standing and you're going to because you are going to be stirring occasionally unlike the one in the oven after 10 to 15 minutes you can just go mix together and put back into the oven but this is actually very good it turns out the same and personally i even prefer this one in a frying pan because i'm just going to see how the granola is changing like it's transitioning from being soft to being very crisp and crunchy and if you're using your frying pan to make your granola please don't just leave this don't leave this because just like frying your rye plantains granola does the same once you just remove your eye from it it's just going to burn i don't know just going to burn so you're just going to keep stirring occasionally keep on keep your eye while you are frying it and this is what it looks like when it's ready the color has changed <laughs> though the thing got a little burnt but not that much and the aroma coming from these is very nice very naughty you will like the aroma from it so after stirring i'm just going to turn off the heat at this point because i don't want this to fry further we are okay with that and i'm going to bring out the one from the oven and this is what we have the one from the oven this is what we have so like i told you earlier i've been stirring this occasionally too i stirred it up to three times before we got this color but i did those ones off camera just to let you know i stirred it so i'm just going to pour the one that we fry with our frying pan you can see the color like i told you just keep your eye when you're doing the frying pan method 
I just looked at and the color changed. I told you earlier, but everything is going to mix where well. you won't even notice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir everything all together. I'm going to mix everything all together. Add in my crushed cashew nuts. I'll put this back into the oven for about five to seven minutes. I'm just going to allow it to come together. At this stage, I'm just going to reduce the heat of my oven. Why I do that? I just brought this from the oven and this is what we have like i told you earlier you won't even notice and there is no difference with the one that we did with our frying pan and the one we roasted in the oven in terms of test there is no difference at all so i'm just going to allow this to cook completely once it cool before we can actually package it please allow this to cool don't pack it when it's still very warm or hot once it's cooled completely you can actually crush it with your hands like it will be very crunchy you can crush it with your hands and that way your granola will last long your granola will last up to 8 to 12 months once it's very cool and i prefer this nutty granola because it lasts longer so and i'm using this pouch to pack it you can as well use the normal container you use for your plantain chips to pack but i'm using this pouch i will set my scale to zero and for these i'm just going to pack this in 400 grams and we got a total of three 400 grams of granola and one 200 grams of granola and for the price of granola the 400 grams of granola sells for 5000 naira, and the two 100 grams of granola is going for 2500 naira. This is a heavy granola, there is no sugar added to this one. So, after packing, I'm just going to seal it up and just the regular way just put on your sticker that's your brand name. Just put on, put your sticker on your product and you are good to go. You actually need to make your own granola at home that way you know what you can put to your granola that is if you are making yours for consumption and if you're already into parfait business you should know that you must make your own granola to maximize profit so i'm just making sure that the granola will weigh the actual size i say is going to weigh so if you say your granola is 400 grams please it should get up to 400 grams because most times your customer is going to weigh it and you don't need that distrust when it comes to business like this so i'm just going to make sure that it actually weighs 400 grams that i see that is going to weigh and that is it guys if you've watched this video to this point please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not done that yet it's totally free you're not going to charge you for subscribing and for getting value here no you're just totally free and let me know what you think in the comment section if you have any question i'll be glad to answer you. and i'll be back with another value packed video just for you enjoy the rest of the video and that is just me packaging and branding do have a nice day take care of yourself bye <music>